Hey guys, I am hanging out at Everglades Outpost and this is Swiper the Fox. And I'm hanging out with Martha, Martha's Hi. general manager of Everglades Outpost. And uh, he is so cute, Martha. Um, he sure is. Him? So right now I'm just feeding him some chicken breast cut up into small pieces. And as you can see, he's definitely excited and loving it. <laughs> And so how, how did he come to the outpost? So Swiper was an owner surrender. Somebody had him as a pet and they gave him up when he was about four months old. So he's been with us. Well, who would give him up? He's so cute. Well, he's adorable, but foxes don't make excellent pets. We got a doggy. I know. Oh, right at the opportune time, right? right? So although he's adorable, foxes don't make the best of pets. These are still wild animals. They have an odor to them, even though they don't musk the way that, for example, skunks do. They still have an odor, and their pee can be smelled <laughs> miles away. It's incredible. So accidents, and then, hey, we oh, don't want to have yes. a fox as a pet anymore. Plus, they're also very intelligent, full of energy. So they're an animal that you have to devote a lot of I mean, time to. even right to. now, he's going all over the place. Yes, exactly. And this is that he has a large habitat to live in, and we do let him out throughout the day just to hang out. Now, Swiper is a red fox, and foxes can be found on almost every continent. He is the largest of the true fox species, so he will get a little bit bigger than what he is now. He's only about a year and a half. And uh, so we're down in Florida. Do, are there red foxes down here? There are red foxes in the state of Florida, but they are not a native species. We do have the gray fox here in Florida. The red fox was introduced by hunting clubs. So we were. So people introduced them just yes. so that they could hunt them. That's exactly it. Wow. Unfortunately. And of course, they introduced them and they repopulated. And now we do have an established population of Florida. But again, red foxes are not native, which means we're not able to let Swiper go, as well as he was born in captivity. So he's always been under human care. So he's always, he's not afraid of yes. humans. And None. Uh, he's not Clearly. native to Florida. Nope. So uh, he's like an educational ambassador, right? Correct. He is what we consider an animal ambassador. So an animal ambassador is an animal that is used to educate the public on that particular species. In Swiper's case, foxes are often considered pests, but they're not. So we do bring Swiper out and educate the public about them. Also, the fact that as though they're cute, they don't make really good pets. So what is the range? What is the range of a red fox? They're not this far south in Florida, but they range all over North America. And different species of foxes, there's, like I said, almost a fox in every continent. And if you see he's in the wild, what, do you, what, is, what is he going to want to eat? So foxes are omnivores. They will eat fruits and vegetables. For instance, Swiper loves apples, loves apples and blueberries. They also eat meats. So basically anything they can get their mouth on. Eggs, he loves eggs as well. So omnivore animals that are opportunistic, meaning whatever is an easy meal is what they're going to try to get. So what kind of predators? do uh, red foxes have? So in the wild, pretty much anything that's bigger than they are can get them. There's even birds that can pick them up out of the sky. Birds? Uh, yep. Wow. Yep. Large enough falcons, uh, hawks, owls, things like that can get them. Um, that, that's usually when they're smaller? Or? When they're smaller, when they're babies and things like that. Red foxes do tend to get pretty large. So usually down here as well, you would have alligators, other snakes that can get them. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed uh, watching that little episode about uh, red foxes. Make sure you are following on Facebook Watch for new wild videos every single day. Make sure you are following me on YouTube and uh, turning on alerts for all the live episodes, guys, because there's a lot of these that I do live. This is the Wild Charles Show. I'll be seeing you guys soon.